go away. Top of the morning to you, you wee shillelagh. I was having a bit of Irish to get my heart started. Take it out to the street. Maybe some other poor sucker will take pity on you because I am done. That's cold. You're not welcome. You're losing your touch. You used to be a much better liar. Accusing me of lying? Your whole life is a lie. And our marriage, the biggest lie of all. All right, it was a con. I freely admit it. You freely admitted it? I practically had to die before you admitted it. You want truth? You missed me. I can see it. What on earth would give you that idea? Well, for one thing, you paid Lucky to come and find me. So I would know where to send the restraining order. All right, you're worshipping truth, Tracy? Tell me you don't love me. Luke, I hate you. All right, I'll start. The reason that I didn't tell you that the marriage was a scam is I was terrified that I would lose you. I love being married to you. You love being married to my money. You're wounded. Your pride is hurt. I understand. Let me kiss it and make it better. Tracy, I can't imagine my life without you. I mean, I can, but it's not a pretty sight. And at this stage in life, I don't expect happy, but you are as close as I can get. Okay. You love me as much as you love my money. You know, loving you and loving the finer things in life are not mutually exclusive. Luke, you stole $10 million from me. And now I'm beginning to wonder if you came back to steal more. I came back for you. Okay. You have to prove it. I've called myself your husband for years now. If that's not love, what more could you ask for? I've stated my terms. You drive a hard bargain. Okay, I do love you. Now we're getting someplace. So here's the deal. I am yours. All you have to do is repay the 10 million you stole. Plus interest. Now we're communicating. Well, that seems more like a test of financial fidelity than love to me. Did you notice that I haven't even mentioned all the money you stole and squandered when we weren't really married? Really? You mean you didn't keep a running tally? Oh, hold it! Do you want to keep your job here? Listen up. All right, I'm all ears. Luke does not have run of this casino. He does not have an open bar tab. And if you even think of helping him by involving yourself in some scheme to fleece me, both of you, out on the street. Why so glum, son? There's good news. She loves me. What does that mean? She'll take you back. As soon as we come up with 10 million bucks plus interest. <laughs> now, what do you mean, we? So you lost the entire 10 million? That's impressive. Well, I want to come back with 20, except I got distracted by Lucky's situation. And by the time I got back to business, my so-called associates, the bastards, had absconded with the goods and the cash. Well, it's good to know you'll give up a sure thing for one of your kids. Maybe you could appeal to Tracy on that level. That doesn't explain why I borrowed the money in the first place. See, the thing is, and I'm not proud of this, if Tracy was dead broke, I'd still love that woman. Would you? Yeah, I just need a chance to prove it. I need back in her house, back in her bed, back in her good graces, and that's where you come in. 
Me? <laughs> I've got problems of my own. I, I've had my eye on a certain lady, and she won't give me the time of day. The lovely Maya. If she could just stand still long enough, I'm sure she would appreciate my finer points. And that is where you come in. Your plan. The suspense is killing me. That's the plan. What? I mean, not, not killing you, exactly. But, I mean, you've been on a rough trip, right? You spent some time in a drafty Irish jail, so it's no wonder you're looking a little worse for wear. I am not. I'm fine. My ticker hasn't skipped a beat since the big quake of a few years ago. You remember what that felt like? <laughs> like ten elephants giving me a lap dance. Well, then it wouldn't be hard to fake a relapse. I mean... Let's face it, nothing says romance like a heart attack, right? And Maya could always lend some medical credence. You can't get to second base with Maya. What makes you think she's going to jeopardize her budding medical career for us? Tracy has been making life miserable for everyone at the Quartermain house. That would change if you were there. So we convince Tracy that you are so debilitated you have to move back into the mansion, that you would literally die without her, and then I, your devoted son, will be there at your side. Of course, except when I'm visiting Maya. Dodge, that's sick, even for us. I knew you'd like it. <laughs> Tracy will be so worried that all will be forgiven, and hopefully Maya won't be able to resist. Yeah, but I'm the spud stuck flat on his back. Well, I can always sneak you some whiskey and cigars. Well, Maya would have to be a willing participant. Willing participant for what? going to pretend to be ill. I mean, it's not much of a stretch. <laughs> I have been cheating death for years. And you think Tracy will take you back and nurse you back to health? Oh, well, yeah, with some help from you, of course. It, there is so much wrong with this idea, I, I don't even know where to begin. But for starters, Tracy isn't stupid, okay? Far from it. it it'll take her all of... 48 hours to figure out that you're scamming her again? She will kick you to the curb so fast. Maya, Maya, Maya. You're new in town, darling. You have no idea what the Spencers are capable of. Do I love this idea? Dad gets a warm <laughs> bed, some hands-on care. Maybe you and I. That keep dreaming. We get to spend some quality time together. And... Why would I want to do that? You have to admit, it's a tidy little plan. Explain the payoff. Ooh. Well, it's very simple. The original prognosis should be positive, good, hopeful, so that she'll think I'm going to be up and around in a few days. Then as soon as I'm on my feet, I'll have relapse. And then I'll begin to weaken. It'll get worse and worse. And then I will entreat my precious popsicle to grant me a dying wish. A deathbed wedding. <laughs> yeah! You get it? You see, he'll get a real justice of the peace. Mm -hmm. He'll marry us, and this time it will stick. Mm. That's brilliant. It's still full of holes. Name one. Okay, well, Luke will miraculously recover. But eventually he'll be sipping Edward Scotch, smoking cigars before we know it. That's bound to make Tracy a little suspicious. Yeah, but by then we'll be married, so it won't matter. Well, well. Isn't this an interesting threesome? 